All right. We are live now. This is Indie Talk with Jesse and Jaron. It's only me today, though, featuring the, the maniac of the Sodak, Tank Bryson. How's it going, Tank? Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, first off, the maniac of Sodak, that would be Dags. It was the leader of Dag's army, which I am a part of, so it works out. But they're down there at Flagship Pro. That's where I wrestle at. Uh, and the army down there. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I want to start going uh, for all the promoters out there. I'm starting with the mercenary. If you got a problem, I'm going to solve it. Okay. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I know. Yeah, I think I saw the that title on a, a Titan Tron. I think I believe it was flagship now that I remember it. And yeah, I saw that and I was like, maybe that's his name because I did I saw you with the, the group and I was like, Oh, I know there's a, a tag team group right there, but yeah. Yeah. The day yeah, you- it's all good though. Yeah. Dags Dags is leading the ship and guiding guiding the army. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it works out. I'm a part of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll get into it and uh, just pretty much start off from the beginning. Uh, talk about how you got into wrestling and uh, your early career. Uh, like farthest back as I can remember, it's like maybe five or six. My my grandpa was in the hospital. I don't. I don't even remember what for, but I remember sitting there and uh, the person next to us, he that was in the hospital as well, his, uh, his family member brought in a tape and it was uh, wrestling. And I just remember watching, I believe it was Mankind in the Rock. And like, that was just, I, I was like, what is this? This, I love this. And then... After that, I started watching it. The first pay-per-view I ever bought was Backlash 99 with my brother. Uh, we saved up, scrounged up every bit of cash that we could because we were buying that pay-per-view. Like, And then that was Backlash 99 was the very first one. The Mankind and uh, Big Show in a boiler room. Uh, boiler room brawl. Okay. Just, yeah. Ever since I've, I've loved it, I did. I when I was a kid, did some backyard wrestling with my friends. Uh, we always had a trampoline, and uh, like I would do stuff with that. And then in my teens, I started jumping off sheds and stupid stuff, mankind style, onto mattresses and whatever I could find. And yeah, I just just loved it. Everything about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, wrestlers out there. They started off with the, the similar uh, f- uh, favorites, like the Mankinds and Rocks and Hogans. And, I mean, that's pretty much how you get your start since that, that's pretty much the, the golden era of wrestling, all three uh, greats right there. And then, yeah, a lot of the wrestlers did the, the trampoline stuff with, like, uh, the Hardy Boys and Young Bucks and everything. So, yeah. Yeah, trampoline wrestling is always uh always interesting to watch on like YouTube and stuff. So yeah, yeah it's, it's always a start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is okay. I was just checking the comments over here. Nothing yet, but uh, uh, how would you describe the character of Tank Bryson? Mm, angry. <clears throat> A little bit, a little bit crazy, mm-hmm. but mainly he just wants to be the best, mm-hmm. okay. and he just wants to be champion wherever. Just that's it. Like I don't know. Like that's just his sights are gold. Okay. Yeah. 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 Got run over whatever, whoever, wherever. To get that, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, like crazy mentality, I know you've uh, 
you've been uh, into the the death match wrestling and you've done a little bit of that and uh, talk about how you got into wanting to do death match stuff. Well, I've only done one match that was uh, it would be the false count anywhere match with uh, Steve Stardom there at All Out Pro Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pete King, yeah, I believe he's been on here a few times. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. He gave me my first shot outside of Midwest All Pro and Flagship Pro, uh, and we took it. We took it to the extreme. We we brought the carnage to Chippewa Carnage that night. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ended up walking out of there with two broken ribs, okay. my bottom two ribs on my right side. Uh, Steve, he, he gave it everything he got in the beginning half, and uh, I started coming back, brought it back, and then he ended up dropping a elbow off of the side of the ring all the way down to the chairs that I was on outside. And mm-hmm. yeah, that's what it took. It took two broken ribs to keep the tank down. Okay. Yes. <sighs> how, how does Still not that- happy about it. Still gets me all pretty red hot about it. So, uh, Pete, I know the 19th you have a show. I'm, I've already been booked at Flagship. I've got a street fight coming up there. Six man on June 19th on Father's Day. But All Out Pro also has a show on June 19th. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a benefit show. Man. I can't make it to that one, but the next one, Pete, I want in and I want – Another match with Steve. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then I don't care what the stipulations are. Doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know uh, I watched part of that match, and, uh, yeah, it was interesting because you were pretty much a surprise uh, entrant into that match. It was supposed to be Horace, and then the stuff with Horace came out, and as in Horace hasn't been at shows, but you came in pretty much surprised the whole crowd, surprised uh, Steve there, and uh, yeah, I think he took him to the limit that night. So, yeah, 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 that was that. Uh, it was a battle. It was a battle, and he may have won the first battle, mm-hmm. but I'm ready for the next one, and I will walk away from this war, the champ. Okay, yeah. Uh, looking on Instagram here, uh, uh, the summit, Joseph Alexander and Derek Fury say, Tank, we first, we, we met, we met for the first time at that show. That match was crazy. I think someone threw a table at someone. Hmm. <laughs> that? Yeah. Yeah. Steve dropped a table on my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was fun. Oh, man. Yeah. And they also want Tank versus Steve stardom as well. So. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Number two. Number two. Yeah. 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 yeah hopefully, uh, Pete might have to talk to Pete after this, see if we can get that rolling for the uh, the next show after this. So I think that would definitely be a, a great match. And yeah, like you said, any stipulation, but I mean, the false going anywhere was a good stipulation, might have to add on to that a little bit. So yeah. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna hurt that guy. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So you talked about flagship pro. Uh. uh talk about the the environment down there because I've heard stuff about it, but I haven't been down there. Uh, the environment would be awesome. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I got. We got the army going. Right now, we got a uh, six-man street fight coming up. Mm, Army versus uh, the – I am I call it the Goonie Squad because hmm. they're a bunch of goons. Mm-hmm. It's uh, top-notch entertainment. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Jesse Shower. Don't even barely remember their names. They don't matter, but mm-hmm. either way, I'm going to hurt them. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, we have that street fight coming up. Uh, that should be a good one. I got some trash cans ready, getting some weapons filled up into them. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Slowly getting, getting the tools ready for the fight. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Always got to be prepared for a street fight or any extreme rules match uh, in that sort. So, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. What are your uh, favorite types of weapons to use during matches? Uh, I've done the kendo stick. Kendo I want to do that's yeah. Like I said, that was my first hardcore match. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm ready for more. Got the street fight coming up. Uh, just whatever. I don't. I'll hit people with whatever. It ain't. It don't matter. But yeah, like I got this trash can back here. I got some chair back in there. All kinds of stuff. Broomstick handles. Hmm. Okay. Just getting it ready. I believe I got a table back in the background. All kinds of stuff. Okay. Yeah. You gonna be able to fit it all in your car when you go down there? Or? Oh yeah, it's coming. With. It's coming. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sh- uh, yeah. So I believe a f- number of months ago now, I think it was closer to January, December, we had uh, uh, North Dakota pro wrestler Bullet Bronson. And I believe he mentioned that he knew a little bit about you. Do you have any uh, thoughts on Bullet Bronson? He's got a heck of a name. Mm-hmm. I like the name. I know he's uh he's, he's out there grinding and just kicking ass. I see he's got another match. Uh, he's got a revenge match. It looks like with uh, Levi. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it PWI? I believe I saw it. Uh, um, yeah. 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 So far, what I've seen, Bullet, he's he's little, but he's got it. He's got some. He's got yeah. quickness. And uh, I think he's going to be good. And plus, his name is Bullet, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't go any, can't go wrong with the name called Bullet or being named Bullet. So, yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's right. The PWA Puffamania June third. Oh, PWA. PWA. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, that's all right. It's yep. Yeah, uh, let me try to find the poster. I think, yeah, it was uh, June third. I forgot where it was again. It was, uh, oh yeah, June third, Eagle City Eagles or Eagles Club Valley City, North Dakota. Uh, Levi Lanigan, Bullet Bronson. Then it looks like it should be a pretty good match as well, and uh, a lot of other stars on there like Nick Nick Nelson, Stonehenge, the System, and more. So. Yeah. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is one thing you hope to accomplish that you haven't yet in the wrestling world? Be on TV. Uh, mm, yeah, that's true. Honestly, the place I want to go would be Impact right now. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, if I never make that, I never achieve it, whatever. I've been a champion at Midwest All Pro. Mm-hmm. I believe in the dream. Either way, I've made it where I never thought I'd make it. So, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to try and just get complacent and chill. Like, I'm going to push as far as I can go. Next, uh, this weekend, actually, I'm uh, driving out to Oklahoma City. I uh, got a, my license to wrestle out there. Got all my blood work, all that done. Oh. Heading out there, making my debut. And then uh, Saturday on the way back, I'll be hitting up Selena, Kansas, uh, XWE, I believe, making my debut there. So just grinding and getting my name out, and hopefully, hopefully somebody sees it and they like it, and hopefully I get on TV one day. And mm-hmm. That's the goal of... It never happens. It never happens. But I'm, I'm gonna strive for it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I didn't know you went down to the the Kansas and Oklahoma terri- territories. Is it? What's the like uh, traveling down to those areas? Uh, well, I haven't wrestled down there. Like I said, I was making my I'm oh, making my days. 
Okay. But I uh, went down there a couple months ago now with uh, my coach and trainer, Nick Dinsmore, Eugene. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. So I went out on there with him and uh, got to know the promoter and everything. And he liked he liked my work. So, mm-hmm. so he said, uh, at the time, I was still recovering from uh, the broken rib incident. So, uh, yeah, so Steve, you cost me money because he was going to give me a match that, that weekend. Mm. So that's another thing that gets me boiled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. Yeah, so never... match number two, uh, yeah. I'm hurting him. Mm-hmm. But anyways, yeah, it doesn't matter. That's point. But, yeah, so heading out there, making my debuts at those shows, get the name out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Let's that see. is a recent debut. Okay. Is there uh, any other territories that you've been outside of, like uh, North Dakota and Minnesota? Uh, I've done a little bit of work for Magnum in Omaha, but just like Patreon matches and stuff, and then seminars I've done. Uh, Mike Bennett seminar, and then uh, Aria Davari seminar down there at Magnum. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, Mike. Well, you haven't really heard much of Mike Bennett for a while, but I mean, he has a he is a great wrestler, and he's or well, well yeah. we just had him. He was just up here at flagship. Oh, he was just up. Okay. Yeah, wrestling Jason Strife. He was at Magnum and then flagship. Okay. Yeah. And then I believe he's on Impact right now. And uh, oh, he's back on Impact. Yeah, I believe he's on uh with the Honor No More team. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta check that out. I've yeah. checked clips uh, here and there of Impact. I think the. Oh, I guess now they're not even an impact, but the the Good Brothers. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're I think they're back in Japan now. So, New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, uh, yeah, good for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get bits and pieces of Impact and WWE and AEW now. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I try to keep up as much as possible, but. I'm training uh, Wednesdays, Thursdays, mm-hmm. and then just trying to keep lifting, trying to get bigger and better yeah. and meaner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is, yeah, the ultimate goal being the the bigger wrestler, being the the bigger name. Because I mean, if, I mean, if you're big, if you're a big dude, you're definitely def- everybody's gonna definitely see you for sure. So, yeah. All right. I started out as I was about 320 pounds of just fat. So Mm -hmm. in this journey, I started in, uh, like, uh, I believe it was March 21. Oh, okay. And, yeah, I just started grinding and shedding off the weight. Uh, Last I weighed myself, I was at 209. Oh, yeah. Yeah, over 100 pounds. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean that that is a an impressive goal over a year, and yeah, it is definitely difficult. But if you if you're able to do it, and, and I guess uh, uh, contribute that to the, your wrestling career, it's definitely an awesome thing. So, oh yeah, yeah. DDP yoga is another thing that really helped. Oh, he did some of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, DDP yoga does wonders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've done some uh, beginner workouts just to see what it was like and try to stretch out because, I mean, not stretching at all. It's going to be make yourself become tight, and that's never a good feeling either. So never good to, never good to be in pain because of being too tight. So, yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know if you know him or not, but uh, someone who wrestles in North Dakota, Matthias, says uh, – I didn't get the face tank one day, one day. One day. One I've day. seen Matthias. I've, I've seen his work. Okay. I think I think me and him would have a pretty brutal battle. Mm-hmm. Just for fun. <laughs> yeah, just for fun. Yeah. Yeah, you could have a definitely have a good false count anywhere match right there. So yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Joseph 
flying by uh, says tank exclamation mark. So looks like a good tank fan right there. Oh yeah, I've talked to him. He's a he's a good guy. He's a he's a fan of the army. Comes to the shows. Mm-hmm. Supports supports Dag's army, flagship tank, all of it. He's a he's a good guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's aspiring to one day start doing this, start wrestling. So mm-hmm. keep following the dream, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's def- there's always going to be room for wrestling, and I mean more sp- just specifically like uh, independent wrestling, as it's it's always growing in the uh, the Midwest and outer territories as well. So yeah, achieve your dream of becoming a wrestler. So yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No um, other better feeling. No, no, it's well, I mean I'm not a wrestler myself, but I mean just seeing the rest uh wrestlers wrestle, it's definitely a, an awesome thing to watch and definitely experience. So uh, yeah. Uh, uh Matthias says tax wire blood, let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Fun stuff. Mm, yeah. Sounds like a party. Mm-hmm. Does sound like a party there. Yeah. So uh maybe Pete King will have to set something up after me and Steve after I get done dealing with that guy. Mm. We have our little thing. Maybe uh maybe me and Matthias can have a little fun. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think but Matthias was talking about making a debut for uh all all pro wrestling and and if that was uh oh, his yeah. debut match, that would be an awesome thing to have and uh, I, I, he's uh he's I, I've been watching him. He's got a match on the nineteenth on the all out show oh, on the nineteenth. Yeah. That's where he's going making his debut. Like, yeah, I'm not sure what the what his opponent is because I'm pretty sure Matthias is going to destroy him. Mm-hmm. I'm giving you that plug, bud. Okay. But guess what? When we face, it won't be like that. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but I do like your work. I do like the work he's doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's been Destructive. really good. Destructive and fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him. I've only seen him in the uh, below zero wrestling, but I mean, I know he does like the Puffamania and getting on the all out pro wrestling, and I know he does a couple more uh, companies outside that, but. Yeah, definitely a great talent. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, he says we'll after. I get through... <laughs> yeah, yeah. He says after I get through Greg, I'm taking down Tank, and then I'm taking the APW title. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. All right. I gave him a plug, and he's gonna talk like that. <laughs> yeah, that is Matthias' character right there. He always. You always want some kind of credit, so yeah. Don't matter. Mm-hmm. I don't need to say much. <laughs> Stat it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh who is your biggest inspiration in the wrestling world? Mm, I'd say either mankind, well, make Foley Cactus Jack, all of them, or uh Yeah. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Mm-hmm. I really look like I uh, Jeff Hardy. I saw him back at TLC, back at the four with the Edge in the ladder match, Edge and Christian ladder match. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just everything he did was just awesome. Jumping off stuff. That's I love it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just being crazy, being chaotic, destroying yeah. yourself to destroy someone else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And he's like 40 and he's still doing that stuff. It's insane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Do you see yourself going down that path of continuing to uh, doing the stuff that you're doing in the, the next 20 years or something? Or No, well, I don't want to ever stop. You don't want to ever this stop. Is, yeah, I never, never thought I'd have the opportunity and now I got it. And I'm going to keep doing it. Tell I can't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. On Instagram here, we got uh, 
uh, the real Drago just uh, popped in. So shout out to the real Drago of MAW Wrestling. So, yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got uh, a... yep. I want to try to make my way out to MAW. I was going to hit the last show, uh, mm-hmm. but we had a big storm where I live and took out, couldn't even get gas for two days. So took out the power, all the gas stations. So I ended up not being able to leave my house. We were uh, emergency, like lockdown. It was crazy. So I couldn't make that show, but I'm planning on heading out there pretty soon. The next show, I'm probably going to head out that way. Okay. Just, just head out, talk to the promoters, see what's going on. I like their stuff. I, uh, Talked to Rampage. I know him a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he came down. He's come down a couple times to Midwest All Pro, uh, him in the system. Uh, yeah. yeah. Not for a while, but when I first started, they came down a couple times. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're good guys. And see him out there. And I want to go see what's going on out there. So I think I'm going to check that out here pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, MAW is just, I don't know if you checked out all the events that they've been posting, but they got like 10 events for the summer, and it's it's only pretty much getting started. They've been releasing all those events. They got the TV deal. and Oh, yeah, yeah I've been watching it. I, I like what I'm seeing over there. They're killing it. Mm. All of them. They're all doing great. It, I love to see that. I love to see the the local scenes starting to pop up again. Like it's almost like that territory feel back from the day. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I, I think it definitely would be cool to see uh, uh, tank Bryson and get a little action at the uh, MAW wrestling and uh, maybe do a, some kind of hardcore match over there if they allow it or any kind of match. So, yeah, any kind of match. I, I'm not strictly hardcore. I like I said, that was the first one I've ever done. I just, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm down for whatever. Uh, mm-hmm. It is what it is. I drive. I'll drive wherever. I'll it. it yeah. Um, I just like to wrestle. I like to hit people. It's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If I got to get hit to hit, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes you got to take some punches to land some punches. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Joseph again. He says, uh, Tank, who is the youngest to train at MAP? I believe that would be my partner that is in the DAGS Army with me, Crash McDermott. Oh. Pretty sure he was at one point the youngest. Mm-hmm. I, I think he started at 15. He's he's older now, but yeah, that yeah. was the youngest. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Not 100%, but pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good question, Joseph. Uh, and Matthias said a couple more things. Uh, he says, Tank will be tough, but I will take down the army. We are two dedicated SOBs. Much respect to you both. So, hmm. yeah, that is good comment there from a thought. You hear that, Pete? If you're watching out there, or if you're watching later, mm-hmm. once I'm done dealing with Steve, Steve Stardom, once he's down and out, me and Matthias. Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like you got a challenge here, Matthias. We just got to get Pete King to approve this. So and I think the fans would love it that are watching right now. So, yeah. I know Pete, Pete will be watching. Mm-hmm. If he ain't watching right now, he'll be watching later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he usually pops in a lot. So you might see it tonight or tomorrow. So, yeah. Matthias accepts. So, yeah. Let's right. party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah, I think uh, uh, forgot which exact show it was, but you and uh another wrestler were going at it in the comments section, and uh, no, I think it was Bullet Bronson. In the you and Bullet were in the comments section, 
we were talking about the other tank, Jonte Dawson. Do you have any thoughts about him? <laughs> I don't even know who he is. He's irrelevant. He's irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure if there was a correlation. I'm like, I'm, I was just sure that tank was like, oh, there's only one tank around here. So, <laughs> no, nah, Tank Bryson. That's right. <laughs> yeah. He's actually. He's actually making his uh, wrestling debut uh, June 25th for uh, MIW, Minnesota Independent Wrestling in Plymouth. So we'll have two tanks running around, but we might have to see who, which tank is better one day. So, yeah. Maybe. Or maybe we'll make a tank team. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Go on a destruction spree. Mm-hmm. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, I'll have to look into him though. Maybe he's not so irrelevant. Maybe I'll uh, see what he's got going on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's done uh, some managerial stuff for uh, the three under par in the the Midwest, and now making his wrestling debut. So we'll definitely have to see what that's all about. So yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh, t- talk about the the original formation of the the Dags Army. Was there a certain way you guys formed it, or how did that all go about? Uh, well, the uh, Midwest All Pro uh, Nick Dinsmore Eugene was the owner of it, and he had sold it to a couple of his students, uh, mm-hmm. Lucky Lund, and then Dags. Oh. They bought it, and uh, so yeah, Dags. He uh, he injured his uh, neck. He uh, broke his neck a couple years back, so he's been retired, not wrestling. And then once he got this uh, this company going, up and running, he he enlisted Crash, and then he enlisted my help, and just oh. basically protection army and. Mm-hmm make things happen. Uh, the first show we did a battle Royal to decide who will be on the show, the flagship show. And, uh, I was guaranteed a spot if I joined the army and sacrificed myself to allow Degs to win, which mm-hmm. you're going to want, you want to be on the bigger show. This guarantees me a spot. I said, what the heck? I took the loss for Dags. Dags took the win. Uh, that's That was over that Jesse shower. Uh, that's what set up all of this. And okay. then he got his little goony buddies. And now we got a match coming up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a good formation story right there. And, I mean, yeah, you definitely – Definitely want to be on the the winning side, the bigger companies. So, yeah. Uh, what were your original thoughts when uh, Eugene sold the company? Because he had that for a while, and then now he's on his retirement years. So, what are your what were your thoughts about that? Uh, just unsure, but mm-hmm. just kept grinding. Just kept showing my worth wherever I went. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I never want to just stay in South Dakota or just around the Midwest. So it is what it is. You know, maybe it was a little earlier than I would have liked, but Mm. it it pushed me to get my name out there farther. And it pushed me to get in contact with Pete and it's pushed me to just get my name out there and start talking to more people and showing people my stuff. And just, yeah, so originally I was kind of unsure, a little worried, my position, but all in all, it pushed me and to strive to be better and move forward and keep grinding and which ultimately led Jags to seeing that I want this, like I'm, I'm not just going to be a weekend warrior, like I, I want to do this one, like as a profession, like. So he, he saw that. He saw the work ethic. He saw the grind. He saw he, – that's when he decided, this guy, I, I need to enlist a tank if I'm going to build an army. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, definitely want to build the biggest army and be the, the biggest out there. So, yeah. Um, uh, uh, what's a finisher you want to use in the ring in the future? I've been – I started using uh, basically the rock bottom. But oh, okay. I – since I'm drop, I'm dropping that, and I'm going with uh, the Angels' wings, Christopher Daniels' move. Oh yeah, uh, basically the pedigree, but stand him straight up and then turn it into an X factor. Mm-hmm. So I, I've been working on that. I'm gonna unveil that on my next opponent, and I think that's gonna that's gonna be a winning winning finisher. And then for a signature, I've uh, I've got the Impaler DDT, and uh, I've been working on like uh, the test full Nelson slam, basically just pick them up, drop them. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. It's always good to have a good arsenal of moves because I think there's a lot of wrestlers. I mean, they're good wrestlers, but I don't think they really have like a a set signature or finisher that they really have. They just hit like a, a move uh, here and there. It's kind of a finisher, but if you got something good going on there, I think it's awesome that you do. So, Oh yeah. This is, this is what I do 24 seven. I just think about everything. Think about my character. Think about how to make it better. I've constantly been evolving from the get go. Like every time I go out there, I want to be different from the last performance better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh what things outside of wrestling have inspired your character? Uh music. Uh big big slipknot fan. Uh they I mean this is my logo that's kind of mm-hmm. got a slipknot vibe to it, probably. Like just they've really like always been there when nobody else was there. You know, I could pop on some Slipknot and just jam and vibe in my own little world. Get away from everything, all the crap. Uh, anything really heavy metal, Pantera, uh, Dimebag. I I'm rocking the red beard. Oh yeah, yeah. Dimebag Daryl all the way. Uh, yeah, metal, rock, anything in that nature. My my theme song is. Uh, Actually, my buddy's band from Omaha, Nebraska. It's uh, Devil in the Details. Oh, okay. Uh, the song is Dead and Discouraged, and it's it's a real heavy banger, but it's good. And, uh, yeah, it really gets your blood boiling and gets you, gets you ready to fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's always good to have a good fight song. And, yeah, I mean, Slipknot, I've listened to a few times, and it's always good to... Always good to have uh, know somebody with the the rock death metal kind of a vibe to them because I've listened to like the Living Color, Saliva, the the Kid Rock, the well the rock version of Kid Rock, not the the rap or the I mean a little bit of the country, but mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah stuff. So yeah, oh we got uh. Uh, Minnesota pro wrestler Matt Shaw. He has a little bit of words towards you. Uh, what a dork. You still suck at GM mode. Wow. <laughs> uh, that little punk. Mm-hmm. You got um, I don't even got nothing to say to that little punk. <laughs> oh. He came down and tried training with us. and. Oh, yeah. He says he broke his shoulders in the match, but I'm pretty sure I broke him. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah now well, he's just angry. He's just angry. So he he's talks just, a lot of crap. He's a sore loser. <laughs> very, very sore loser. Mm. Ain't that right, Matt? <laughs> what are your thoughts on that, Matt? Uh, we've had Matt on the show uh, a number of times now. We've or two times now, and he's it's been uh, pretty good to have on the show. We interviewed him about, I mean, he's done uh, some MAW stuff. Uh, he's been having a feud with uh, So Fresh uh, a few months ago. So, yeah. No, I know, man. Like, yeah, he's 
we've hung out. We've done. He came up and played some video games, did some WWE 2K22, and we did some GM mode. So that's what that joke's about. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. we we trained together. We've. Mm, okay. He thinks he's funny. He did. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah. He's Come just on. a little guy. Mm-hmm. He is a little bit of a smaller dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh no, just playing though, just playing that. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You keep calling me Hank. I'm gonna have to yeah. hurt you. That's oh, that is that's him. That's right. Yeah, Hank. He, he oh yeah, I see Hank for reasons. So I just remember that. So yeah, come on, Matt. You got to get uh, get in line there. He's he's uh. I'm already like, building up a lot of opponents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's uh. He's a man to be reckoned with, Matt. Uh, uh, Joseph here, he says, uh, Tank would combine cruiserweight slash high-flying and hardcore be a good idea. Oh, he's asking a question. Uh, I think he's asking if the all three of those things would be a good idea to be in a wrestler. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to give it hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I uh, so, I just did uh, some swanton bombs, working on jumping off the top rope. Okay. Getting getting lucha tank going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh oh, I missed a comment up here, but uh, uh Austin Smith, he says uh. Quit using your hands to make your biceps look bigger. <laughs> oh, man. Tank is a big dude. He's got to show off that muscle, Austin. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Good good uh, comment there, Austin. Smith thinks he's fit. He's got a whole system. Oh, it's yeah. working. Hmm. Okay. You know Austin pretty well then, or Smith? Oh yeah, he's another. He's a he's a current guy down at flagship and Midwest All Pro, and oh, we haven't wrestled too much. But he was down there. We did a we did a match at the seminar uh, for Aria Davari. It was me and Schmidt, and we, we had a good match. We got high recognition from Davari, and hmm. I, I felt pretty good about it. So Schmidt. He's, he's a good guy, even though he wants to make fun of me. <laughs> uh, I ain't going to take it personal. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, come on, Austin. Uh, what's it like being in a, a wrestling seminar with uh, Arya Davari then? Because, I mean, big name. He, he's been out there for a little while now, so or a long while. Oh, yeah. so. I've yeah. – uh... it, uh, it was good. It was a good experience. Uh, it was at a point that I had – gotten some experience because uh i first when i first started i did a seminar with jtg and i had very little experience in the ring i was like i am still green but i was very green then and yeah like so i took what i could from it but a lot of people was probably able to take more from it but with Mm -hmm. davari it was all just soak it all in and just take everything i can and Put a hundred percent into the match, into my performance, and uh, yeah, it was good. Just it was a good experience, good uh, learning experience, good, good everything. He taught it. He he showed us where you want to look for the camera, like uh, for if you're gonna be in WWE or AEW or wherever on TV, you want to like, focus for the camera. You want to know where the hard cam is you want to always kind of kind of focus into that Mm -hmm. and yeah so just he gave us a lot of little tidbits and stuff and critique matches and he's good good i've also Mm -hmm. done i did the seminar with mike bennett which that was just as awesome and uh i had uh i cut a promo for all out pro well it's for anybody, really, just basically mm-hmm. the tank promo that's going to go to whatever promo promoter needs it. 
But uh, yeah, All Out Pro, they posted it and everything. And uh, so I had been working on that before the Mike Bennett seminar with uh, getting it all worked up and done and everything. And so the seminar at Mike Bennett, he was like, we're going to work on uh, promos. And I know everybody hates that. And I'm like, heck yeah, I've been just working on this for the last like 24 hours. Like, <laughs> so uh, I just went up there and basically recut my promo that mm-hmm. I'd done over and over and over. Like yeah. I was a little, a little bit nervous because promos, it's, it's a promo. And then going up there in front of your peers, it's a little bit nerve wracking, but I just went up there and I did it. And like, he, he was like, how long you've been doing this? And I was like a year. And, uh, he's like, really dude, like that was, that was really good. He was like, uh, kind of critiqued a little bit of my like range, how my, I was working my voice. And, uh, oh. so later on in the back, I had, uh, grab my phone and I took him the and I asked him to watch the actual promo that I had done on the video and like he was like yes dude yes this is exactly what I was talking about this is what I want more of and like so that that really made me feel really good about like everything like just getting praise like that about something I had just been working my ass off on was really pretty cool Mm -hmm. yeah yeah especially from someone who's been to the top been on TV like that's what makes it cool is when you got former guys that you've watched on television telling telling you that you know that's good that's good stuff and, mm-hmm. and then being trained by Eugene that's yeah it's just it's just all just crazy it blows my mind still sometimes that this mm-hmm. is happening but like never thought it would but here I am gonna keep rolling with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've uh yeah, like uh last the first all out pro when I first met Pete, uh mm-hmm. I I ended up driving uh three former WWE superstars in my car. <laughs> I had Eugene, uh Sin Bodhi, and then Carlito. Oh, and I was just rolling around hanging out with them. Like that what? That's freaking insane. <laughs> Yeah, never yeah. thought that was a possibility, and not hanging out as a like with like as a fan, like uh, as a fellow wrestler, just yeah, kicking it. Like, mm-hmm. it's crazy, but yeah, yeah, just just meeting everybody that I used to see on TV is just awesome. It's been mm-hmm. been the coolest experience I could have ever dreamed of. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely got to be cool. I mean, Carlito definitely was a, a favorite from uh, back in the day. His style and character was definitely cool. And, uh, yeah, the, uh, Mike Bennett, I know, his, I think his best work was still an impact. He had a great character with that. And uh, I hope uh, he does keep doing more with the, the flagship or uh, on the indies as well. So, yeah. Oh, you freeze. Oh. Hmm. 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 up a second guess the technical difficulties Uh, yeah if you guys have any more comments too or questions you can put them down there when he comes back I'll get those answered and then probably wrap up in a bit
boy. Come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you guys uh, uh, know, uh, earlier we had a show with uh, why am I forgetting now? The Joey, uh, bad role model Joey Alpha that turned out pretty good. If you guys want to check that out, that's also on my profile that I did uh, earlier today. It was around four thirty ish. Should still be in the early uh, feed right there, around two two uh, posts down. So. Bad role model Joey Alpha. So, yeah. Hoping uh, Zach is able to come back on. My back. back. You're back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really weird. I'm like, is did he just freeze? And I was like, oh, he did freeze. So yeah, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll get back. Uh oh yeah, we'll get back into it. So uh uh Joseph asked uh asking me if you liked my gimmick idea and weight loss options. Uh thank you stop to the previous uh uh, hardcore stuff over there, or the flying cruiserweight stuff. I think, I think, I mean, I, I think he pretty much answered it before, but yeah, 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 it's all good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, I gotta get back into it now. Uh, yeah, I was like, I was just providing uh, some updates about the show and uh, the previous show, so get back into it now. Uh, uh, what is the favorite style of wrestling you like to use? I don't know if I've found my niche yet. I just keep keep going. I've uh, like I've only been doing it since twenty twenty one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess there is uh, still a lot to find. Everything out. I've, yeah, everything I've done has been awesome. From tag teams to battle royals, it doesn't matter. It's just fun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll get into the part of the show where we do a uh, little name associations. I uh, stayed away from the stuff we talked about before, but uh, uh, first person, uh, uh, Pete King of APW. What were your original thoughts about him? Uh, good guy. Like he was putting on a good promotion. Like, the first time I went up, I rolled up with Eugene. So, I mean, I didn't – I did a little bit. I was in a Battle Royal or – yeah, it was like a Battle Royal for a spot at a title. But, yeah, it was just a quick little thing. And then uh, after that is when he started talking to him. And, yeah, he's, he's a good guy. He's got a good promotion. I. I it's never done me wrong. I mean, I haven't worked for him a lot, but everything's been good so far. He's, I enjoy work, working with Pete, and he's kind of the first one to start the mercenary because he had a problem. So he mm-hmm. called in the mercenary tank, Bryson. And maybe I wasn't a fully prepared or whatever because I wasn't expecting an elbow off of the top. And, yeah. But... Whatever, you can't win them all. And uh, just let the ribs heal, and I'm getting back into it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, Pete's a good guy. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, Pete has been really good. He's good product, good show. And, uh, yeah, like you said, we had him on the show a few times now, and he's always in the comments section and checking up on our show. So it's really, really cool, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, someone who, who just showed up uh, coincidentally on the Instagram uh, here. Uh, my second list, or second guy on the list is Alvin Falcon. Ah, uh, Alvin Falcon. Falcon, yeah. Yeah. He, he was my debut match. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, yep, out in uh, Wagner, South Dakota. Yeah, things got a little sloppy. Mm. I'll admit he got my shoulders pinned, but for whatever reason, the ref called me the winner. Mm. So I took it. That was my win on the debut match, and I took it. And uh, mm. yeah, it was a little, a little messy, a little sloppy, but won my debut match against him. Uh, he's a he's a he's another good good guy, good guy out there grinding from mm. Midwest All Pro and flagship. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know of uh I've seen him uh I think it was only actually once in below zero wrestling in Fergus Falls, Minnesota, but from what I saw from that match, he was great talent, great wrestler and definitely good in the tag teams with uh Tommy Douglas. So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he's a very good technical wrestler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, you touched on him a little bit, but uh, what were your original thoughts on Eugene? Uh, awesome guy. Just uh, the first, like I said, when I started, I was really overweight, super depressed. I was just not happy with life, where it went. It wasn't how I had wanted it to go. Uh, and yeah, so I went to a show and. Then they said there. He said there was going to be a camp, and I signed up for the camp. Uh, me and my brother. It was a two day camp, just to get the basics or whatever. So I, we did that, and I got sweating, busted my ass, just mm-hmm. whatever. And uh, then I was like, yeah, I want to do this. So uh, paid him for the next, paid him for that like first tuition or whatever. And uh, yeah, the first uh, the first day after I paid tuition, broke my collarbone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I was doing. I was uh, practicing a bump and uh, just basically did a dive into my my shoulder. Mm. It broke my collarbone, but uh, I rolled out and like I acted like I was fine, you know, whatever. And I'm a tank. I ain't gonna. It's not gonna phase me. I'm gonna get up, keep keep doing my thing. But uh, he came over to me, you know, and he was like, uh, you you got a big, you got an athletic build. You got a, a good frame. Like, if you want it, you, you got it. Like, you just got to lose some weight and stick with it. And that just, that right there lit the fire under my ass to just do this. And, like, mm-hmm. been, and it's been awesome. So, yeah, Eugene's just been the coolest thing, like, ever to, like, happen to me. And just knowing him and then be being trained by him and just all the stories he's told me, like all the car rides we've went on just from mm-hmm. John Cena to the boogeyman, to just Vizera, just mm-hmm. all these cool stories, just the experience alone with just going with him places has just been crazy, crazy. Awesome. Just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've actually I've seen him once in Below Zero Wrestling in September and just from that I know obviously known for his wrestling career, but during that show he seems like a just a really good guy in general. So yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's he's, he's a great guy. He's mm-hmm. got a heart of gold. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, spot like Mike. Hey, buddy. <laughs> where, where were your original spot. thoughts on him? Uh, he was the one that got me going once he, uh, so I originally, I debuted at Midwest all pro in a, uh, battle Royal for a golden opportunity contract. Mm-hmm. which I would get or whoever won would receive a title opportunity any place, anytime, anywhere. Mm-hmm. Just dash in, go from there. Okay. That was my debut match. I threw everybody over, won the contract. Mm-hmm. I was then approached by Spotlight Mike to enter Spotlight Enterprises. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, once I entered that, we 
had an agreement, and uh, Falcone is actually on that team mm -hmm. uh, with Tommy Douglas. So, yeah, yeah. So bygones be bygones with Falcone. We work together in the stable. Uh, Spotlight is a great, great talker. Great heel. Yeah. Mm. Very good at making the crowd angry. <laughs> mm. uh, just yeah. good at his job. Can't say nothing, nothing bad about him. Maybe shut up, Mike. Other than that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He got me. He got me. Uh, we ended up getting the title. We ended up winning the title four months later. So, mm -hmm. under his managership. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've seen him one time, and just by seeing him, I could, I could definitely tell. Like, oh yeah, he's, he's definitely gonna work the crowd and definitely uh, try to get the crowd to rebel against him in some kind. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, it was it was a full time job uh, being his bodyguard. Everybody hated him. <laughs> mm, man, yeah, okay. And uh, I didn't originally have him on the list, but he did just show up into the the comment sections. But uh, uh, Kylan Larson, Kylan Larson, Kylan, yeah, sorry. Yeah, if he's another guy down there. Mm hmm. What were, you, what were your thoughts what, on him? Uh, yeah. What were my thoughts on him? Or original thoughts on him, yeah. Uh, just good guy trying to do his dream, like, like we all are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't I don't try to judge people a lot. Like, I just – Yeah. We're a good dude until you screw me over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, far, only a few people have crossed me to where uh, mm. I'm going to hurt them. Yeah, like Steve. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. I think for the most part, wrestlers are – I've yeah, I've met a lot of wrestlers over the years in the independence, and you know, overall, they just really seem like uh, good dudes and uh, good people to talk to because, I mean, that's a, a good uh, – I mean, we can all relate to pro wrestling and how we started watching it, how we want to, uh, where we want to see pro wrestling go. So, yeah. I mean, that's the dream. That's the goal. That should be the goal, right? Be on TV. Yeah. 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 The whole team. Doing this. Go big or go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Definitely. All right. But yeah, I think it's pretty much all I had. I wanted to get those questions answered and, get as many questions as I could of the the comment sections from Matthias and Joseph and uh, I'll see you, Matthias. Matthias. I'll yeah. See you later. Yeah, I hope the uh, Matthias uh I hope you and Matthias are able to lock up one day in uh APW yeah. or even another company. So yeah. oh, I don't. Mm -hmm. and oh one more thing uh Blow Zero Wrestling owner Nick Stokey says uh who are some of the upcoming guests for our shows? Uh, I think you're just going to have to find out. I'm going to release a, a poster for tomorrow for Friday's show, and then we got so many guests coming up as well. So definitely going to have to find out about that, Nick. So. And we had Tank Bryson today, which was awesome to talk to. So, yeah. Hey, you need a uh, mercenary. Got a problem. Mm -hmm. You call the tank. Call the tank. All right, yeah, definitely uh, keep that in mind because, I mean, I've been watching your stuff, and, yeah, it's really cool, even just in your first year of wrestling, so. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. All right, but, yeah, it was awesome having you on the show and going over so many things, and uh, hope you have a nice night, Tink. <clears throat> you too. Yep. All right. Live is ending.